Hey everyone, my name is GamerCory and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video we're going to be going over two different things. The first one being is we're going to go over all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then the second thing that we're actually going to go over is all the daily challenges and uh, their list and the extensive uh, details of each of those so you guys can actually earn as much gold as possible. So you're going to earn money with the daily collection sets and you're going to earn gold with the daily challenges so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it but before we actually do that if you guys are enjoying these types of videos make sure that you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated a like definitely goes a long way here on the channel and shows your support it tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos and honestly it just really helps me grow here on youtube so please spend that couple of seconds and like and subscribe down below and also don't forget to turn on bell notifications. All right, so we're gonna start with the daily collection sets and their uh, their cycles. So the first ones I'm gonna go over is everything that includes using the field shovel because that's what has recently been changed. So the fossils will be a part of cycle number two. The lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number one. The arrowheads at cycle number six. And then we've got family heirlooms at cycle number three. And then coins at cycle number five. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. Now, I know that the collector role was recently nerfed, but doing the collector role and the cycles are still one of the best ways of earning money here in Red Dead Online. And with these next few sets that I'm actually going to go over, um, it's really handy because you can actually get some of these and collect some of these before you can even become a collector. So that way you already have a, a little bit of money at the get-go. So we got American Wildflowers, which there's three sets every single day. We got cycle number one, the tarot cards at cycle number three. We have the antique alcohol bottles at cycle number three and the bird eggs at cycle number six. Now, just in case you guys are wondering why I'm pretty much going around in circles is there's a um, bootlegger mission right here. And uh, just in case it's actually one of the daily challenges for maybe NPCs or Doing a bounty, uh, doing a bootlegger mission. I'm just kind of staying in the area for the time. I don't know if it is one or not. I'm just kind of waiting for that, for that to happen. All right, so let's go to go over the daily challenges first. The list mode, and then we're gonna follow that up with extensive detail. So we've got uh, two foxes skin, one horse appearance updated, one hunt the leader completed. Okay, uh, five non-player enemies knocked out. Okay, uh, five parasol mushrooms picked. Uh, we got three sh players killed with a shotgun in showdown. And then we got one used in emote on a local. Bounty hunter roll, we got two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. Two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows. And then three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. The trader roll, we got one crypt uh, special camp stew completed. Two goods sold to a local buyer. And then we got seven medium animal carcasses uh, donated to crypts. The collector roll, we got three antique alcohol bottles found, two collectibles found with the metal detector, and then three lost jewelry found. And then moonshine roll, we got $200 money made from moonshine sold, one moonshine bar changed decor, one shine moon, moonshine bar drunken player interaction, and then last but not least, we got the naturalist roll, we got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes, two blending tonics used or crafted, and then we got three forest and river animal samples taken. All right. 11 gold bars, 5 gold bars from the daily gender challenges, 6 gold bars from the daily rule challenges. I like to go after the rule challenges because, well, you get to pick and choose. As long as you have all 5 of the current rules purchased and be at least a rank 10, you'll have access to 15 of them every single day. You can only complete 9, so only expect to complete 9 every single day. But you get to pick whatever 9 are the easiest for you to complete each and every single day. And that's how you guys can get that 1.5 gold bar bonus now in order to get 0.5 just in case you are new i know that some people aren't but uh you do need to complete 21 days in a row at least one daily challenge for 21 days all right let's go ahead and break these down so daily general challenges we got two foxes skinned now foxes you got silver gray or red and foxes literally can be pretty much found anywhere uh pretty much right why is my horse like dancing around like all weird Okay, I'm not even touching my controller at this point in time. Uh, weird. Um, you can find them, like, around the Tall Trees area. You can actually find them in New Hanover. You can actually find them in Lemoyne. You can find them right where I'm at, which is really close to McFarland's Ranch, so down in New Austin. You can literally find these guys everywhere. 
Uh, it does not matter which fox you go after. I already named the three. So just go ahead and skin any of those that you would like. Then we got uh, one horse appearance updated. You can go to any one of the stables. There's one in Valentine. There's one north of Van Horn. They got one in San Denis. You got one just a little bit south of um, Emerald Ranch or north of Rhodes, depending on which one you're looking at it. Uh, you got one outside of Strawberry, one side of Blackwater, and then one down in Tumbleweed. So you have a variety of different places that you can actually do that at. We have Hunt the Leader. Now, the reason I was kind of like, okay, earlier is because, well... Uh, I don't think that's going to be possible to complete, to be 100% honest, because there's just two of us in, there's just two of us in a lobby. And if you're by yourself, oh, there's three of us now. So I guess maybe we're getting closer, but you have to do this one with a friend most of the time. Uh, you have to be an imposse in order to do that. And then you have to complete it and then see if there's anybody that's participating in Hunt the Leader. I feel like it's going to be hard, but I could be completely wrong. Maybe it'll put you into a different session. I don't really know. Um, but it just seems like it'd be really hard to do because if it was a full lobby like it were, we were used to a while ago, then it would probably be no problem. Otherwise, you could have multiple friends and then each join two different posses and you could do it that way. That would be a way to do it. Uh, we got five non-player enemies knocked out. Uh, it's not really what I was expecting for this bootlegger mission over here because, well... They have shotguns and whatnot, especially being a bootlegger mission. I don't, I mean, it's it's not going to be a checkpoint, but they still probably have some shotguns, but I can try to knock them out. Otherwise, I might do this in Van Horn or actually in Thieves Landing. Uh, bootlegger missions and gang hideouts and also the poacher missions are the best way to not increase your honor, but if you don't care, then Van Horn and Thieves Landing. We got mushrooms picked. Now, I'm going to show you guys where I like to go. Uh, I'm actually going to give you guys kind of a newer location. Uh, there's a lot more in the Great Plains area, which is pretty close to where I'm at. So, usually I kind of go along this way. And there's like a whole bunch of spots right here in a row. Probably like four, maybe three or four spots. But if we go over here, there's actually like six or seven spots in this general location outside or in the Great Plains area. So, pretty much right between the A and the P or in the L there. Just south of the L, right about there. Now, these aren't going to be exact, but they're going to be pretty close. So just look around in these areas, and you guys should be able to find them in around those areas. Uh, there's also going to be one, like, way over here. That's probably the furthest one away. You got one roughly, um, probably right about, oh, man, this is kind of hard to remember. Uh, I'm going to guess right about there. And then another one should be right about, here or so so like i said about seven different locations that you guys can actually go to and there's a lot of other ones all around the great plains we got three player kills in a sh with a shotgun in showdown so just go to any one of the showdown modes and then use the shotgun not a lot of people have been reporting to me that the showdown ones are not working as of right now so i guess you'll just have to kind of see if they actually work i haven't tried any of these lately because i'm not a big fan of pvp anyway but um Y'all have to let me know if they work for you. Uh, use an emote on a local. It can be any local. It can be somebody just riding by on their horse. You can be in one of the, the towns and you can wave at them or you can flip them off. Whatever you really want to do. That's pretty easy. That's probably the easiest one to do today. The bounty hunter roll, which is the only roll that does pay out additionally in gold. We got two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. Uh, so that's going to be Le um, Rhodes and San Denis. Two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows. Now, this does require you guys to purchase the pamphlet. If you guys don't have the $500 to do it, don't worry about it because you're only going to be using the tracking arrows for the daily challenges. And they only happen like once, maybe twice a week if you're lucky. Um, if you have plenty of money, then go ahead and buy it. But if you're trying to spend and buy your, use your money for something else, then don't get any of the pamphlets. Uh, there's only a couple that I would recommend at this point in time. We got three Eagle Eye used to track a bounty target. The best way to do this is if you guys are going to an area that's not yellow and you've got to track one, you basically capture them and then let them go and then basically track them again. Um, you basically let them run away from you and then you track them again. Otherwise, if you get the yellow area that you have to do some searching and inspect some clues, each time that you inspect a clue, use your Eagle Eye to track them and it'll actually have three different times within one bounty hunting mission and you can actually do that all in one time. Otherwise, this might take a little bit longer if you do it individually. Uh, the trader roll, we got one Crips' uh, special camp stew recipe completed. Whatever that special recipe is, just go ahead and make it. If you guys need the ingredients, you guys can check the catalog, you can check the general store, or you can even go to any of the stables. We have two goods sold to a local buyer. 
Now this one's actually pretty easy. You just have to have two goods available. This uh, takes about five to ten minutes, um, usually at the most. Um, and you can make up to five hundred dollars if you have a full one hundred goods. But if you don't care and you just want the gold, then by all means, just sell the two. Right now, I'd probably recommend doing as much of the trader roll that you possibly can because you don't have to worry about griefers, to be honest. We got seven medium animal carcasses donated to Crips. So whatever is on the side of the horse. So ducks, geese, uh, raccoon, rabbit, Virginia possum, uh, things like that all count as medium animal carcasses. The collector roll, we got three antique alcohol bottles found. So antique alcohol bottles will actually be a part of cycle number three. And then lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number one. And then you need to find two collectibles found with a metal detector. Now some of the lost jewelry can be found with a metal detector, but if you want to guarantee that a majority of them are going to be, I'll go after the arrowheads or the coins. Specifically the coins, just because all of them do require the metal detector. The moonshine roll, we got $200 of money made from a moonshine sold. If you guys have special and a strong moonshine, be able to be able to so be sold it's 247 dollars and 50 cents otherwise if you guys don't do the special and the one right down below from it it is going to be 226 dollars um so either one you can make more than 200 as long as you don't break any of the bottles when you're doing a delivery we got one moonshine bar change decor just talk to maggie you can either change a painting or change the entire theme it depends on if you haven't purchased any of them if you haven't purchased a theme it will cost gold if you haven't done any of the paintings it will cost money but the nice thing about having them, you'll have them for life. And you can just switch them whenever this comes up again. Two Moonshine Bar Drunken Player Interactions. This will require you guys to do this with a friend. You don't have to be in the same posse at all. Go into either one of your Moonshine Shacks, get drunk, and then start slapping each other silly. And then last but not least, we got the Naturalist Roll. So we got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. The farmyard animal are pretty much our farmland animal and are the pretty much the easiest ones because you can find a ton of sheep and pigs in Valentine. And then around Emerald Station, you can actually find sheep, uh, goats, cows, and ox all right there. So it's actually really not that hard to find quite a few of them uh, within that 10-minute period. And then two blending tonics crafted or used. Again, I wouldn't recommend buying any of the Harriet pamphlets. They're not really worth it in my honest opinion. I would always buy the stuff that you need. Um, and if you want to spend the money to get the gold, by all means, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I would just skip that one. And then we got three forest and river animal samples taken. Whatever is in that category, just go ahead and get three of them. And they can be part of your five if you wanted to within that 10-minute period. But I like the farm land animals just because they are a little bit easier. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, by all means, leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out if I possibly can. But if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.